Praise the Lord, y'all. Um, just here to give you another dream I had about three, four days ago. Um, and then the Lord always gives me revelation on it. I'm so thankful and blessed. But um, you guys, I was just in some type of, type of auditorium. And I was just following this beautiful girl. She was beautiful. Um, and I was following her through this maze of stairs. It, it, she would go in the same places over and over, but it was kind of like a maze. But and I was just following her, right? Beautiful girl. And you know, I know I knew it was a dream, and I'm in the dream. I'm like, okay, I get a wife. This this is what I'm talking about. And I'm just chasing her. I'm chasing her. And finally, I realized I had some place to be. And so I rush out to these docks, and this huge ship had just sailed off. And I'm like, man, no, I felt awful. I felt felt pitiful, like disgusted, like like I was dying. But um at the last second, like somebody on the ship, they threw a snorkel in the water. And um I I could tell it was for me, it was a snorkel and it had an oxygen hose connected to it, you know, leading back to the ship. So I dove in and I swam to the snorkel. And then I swam to the ship, man. I felt so relieved. Like, thank you, God. Like, um, and then I woke up. I'm like, and he just automatically brought everything to me. You know, seek the kingdom first. That helps you. But I woke up, uh, sought the kingdom and, and, and of God, his righteousness. And he just told me what everything meant. Like, I have to explain to you. I'm a 32-year-old. Single male. I don't have no wife, no kids, no girlfriend, or nothing, right? So it gets lonely, right? And what the dream was pretty much telling me is like, if you if you get caught up, if you start chasing women, chasing a wife, or or you know, like you're gonna miss it. You know, you're gonna miss it. Don't. I have to accept the fact that I'm engaged to Christ. Even though, like he told me a year and a half ago, I would have no wife or no girlfriend, no kids, none of that. You know, you get to looking on Facebook, you see people happy with their families, and I, and you just get lonely, you know. But um, he already told me I just have to accept the fact that I'm engaged to him, and and I should be honored and faithful, and that's just what I'm going to do. Y'all made it to that dock, and that ship had sailed off. Y'all, it had sailed off to the point where I couldn't... I can swim, but I couldn't reach this ship. It, it was just too far. But they, they threw the snorkel to a point where if I could just make it to the snorkel, I knew I'd be all right. And y'all, I made it to the snorkel, and I kept swimming, y'all. And I made it to the ship. And just all I can say is praise the Lord, y'all, um... It's getting close to that time, y'all. Um, don't be distracted by anything. By anything. By anything. If you don't have a job right now, I'd be real careful on getting one unless the Lord tells you, yo, you need to go to work. If you, Whatever you don't have, whatever you think you're lacking right now, I would go to God before I, I, I went looking for it. Whatever it is. Whatever it is you think you're lacking. Go to Jesus and see if that's for you, because we are that close, y'all. I'm talking about whatever it is, even if it's a blender, a lawnmower. <laughs> well, probably not to that extent, but don't, don't, don't give up your mental process. Don't give up space in your heart to nothing else but God. And y'all, I made it to the boat, y'all. I was so happy. You know, just... Here I was knowing, just like life, just like all of us sinners, just knowing I didn't deserve to make it, to make this trip that we about to make. I know I didn't deserve it. I know I don't deserve it. But just, it goes, it's, it, it, it symbolizes how God always extends himself. You know, he, um, he sent us his son. Jesus sent us the Holy Spirit, you know, and, and he, they extended, they threw that snorkel out. They threw that snorkel out, y'all. And I went and got it. That's just, that's my God always extending himself to us, y'all. And we just got to be thankful. And there's certain ways to show thankfulness. Just believing. 
dedication, have some zeal for Christ, have, have some willpower in Christ, you know what I'm saying, for Christ, have the will of Christ, it, it takes, it, it, being thankful, it's, it's thanking him, talking to him, if you're gonna thank him, you gotta talk to him, talk to him, y'all, um, y'all, I made this trip, y'all, and it was a dream I needed, like, I needed to be telling somebody right now because he he comes to me and I feel I always just feel elevated just when I get to release a testimony. He elevates me when he gives it to me and he elevates me when I release it. And it's the least I could do. Um, don't miss the boat, y'all. Don't miss it. This trip is coming real soon, y'all. Um, keep praying and pray for other people because chances are if you're watching this, your place is already there, you know, but pray for other people. That's what this is for. Our faith is the reason why our cup runneth over. All of this faith we have to be doing what we doing, watching YouTube the way we doing and preaching in the streets the way we doing, praying the way we praying, is because it's not all for us, y'all. Pray for people, y'all. Pray for them, y'all. We They need your prayer, y'all. We They need your prayer. I need your prayer. Let's pray for each other, y'all. We all working together. We all working together. I love you, y'all, before I get too fired up and get to preaching about something completely different, y'all. Just continue, y'all. Don't be distracted, y'all. Uh, this thing, this whole life right now, it, it, it's a journey, and it's all about faith. And you walk into a mark, right? You follow with Jesus, and you walk into a point, right? And, and this is life throwing distractions at you. Money. Women. And, and it's it's all distractions, and, and sometimes we'll see distraction, we'll grab hold of it, and we'll stop our march and just get to paying attention to whatever this distracting that Satan threw at us, y'all. Don't worry about none of this stuff, y'all. Just keep your march, y'all. Keep mark, keep marching to that point. Keep marching to that point, y'all. That's what this is about. That's what this is about, y'all. Pray for people. Pray for the people who not. You know, interested in this stuff that just has our heart, mind, heart, and soul, y'all. Pray for the people, y'all. They need your prayer. We didn't do nothing to deserve to know what's going on. We did nothing. Acknowledge that. And have sympathy in your heart and just pray for somebody else. Y'all, I love y'all. I didn't mean to go this long, but I truly, genuinely love y'all. My Jesus is coming soon, y'all. I know it's a lot of y'all in the same boat as me. You don't got... You 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 of age and and you could have had a family by now, but through the grace of God and through some of your own, you know, it just didn't pan out like that. But um, don't be. I know you're lonely. Just lean on Christ harder. That's what I have to do. I have to lean on Him harder, y'all. Um, He's there for us. It's all by His design. Everybody's not gonna make this trip. I God bless everybody who has a family. And they're still able to have the mind and the heart to have that zeal and that longing for Christ. God bless you. But I know it's a lot of y'all out there like me too. No wife, no husband, no kids. Just lean on Christ harder, y'all. I love you. I thank God for you. I'm praying for you. Um, It's almost that time. It's a joyous occasion, y'all. Some Just... More of what we don't deserve. The Lord is just giving us more of that. Aren't we spoiled? I love y'all.